both New Mexico and Arizona are forward-looking states, especially when it comes to their Department of Transportation in wanting to reduce wildlife vehicle collision. And they put up wildlife fencing, which is eight foot high fencing to keep those animals off the roadway, but to still allow those animals to access vital resources on either side of the roadway, they will put in crossing structures like this. In this area, we have deer and elk, and elk can get up to 800 or so pounds, and nobody wants to interact with them on a roadway. Here, when we started monitoring this, right after it was built and deer are already using it to safely cross under the roadway. And when you look at elk, they're a little more tentative to use a structure of this size. And New Mexico is leading the way in learning, will an elk use a structure this size? From an elk perspective, you have two structures. So it doesn't create one long tunnel where they would be at one side looking through and not know what's around. So they're able to come through one structure, kind of hang out here in an open area, safe feeling area, then go through another structure. So that hedges the bet that elk will use this structure. We'll be monitoring this structure for two, maybe almost three years. And in that amount of time, we'll be able to see those seasonal patterns when migration start to happen. Because of research, because of monitoring, working with the Department of Transportation to put cameras on things, whether that's trail cameras or video surveillance cameras or thermal cameras, to see if animals were actually using them. And so we have found that 97% of collisions can be reduced along the roadway. When a new project like this comes online and it presents an opportunity to learn something that will help both states out, um, that is our goal.